Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Millermatic 355. Um, got our demo machine in. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features on this unit, uh, what this unit replaces, and just go over the basic functions of this unit and what pack packages it comes in. Um, so let's dive right in. So it comes with a 10-foot cord already on the back, but no plug. So I wired this up, and we're running 208 single phase. Um, so when I turn, turn this unit on, so this machine comes right out of the box, got a nice door side, got our, all our functions on the inside, so easy setup stuff. Um, just a quick reference guide. But when it comes in out of the box, we got our in, in, input voltage selection switch. It comes automatically on 460 on the right hand side. So when you wire it up um, and you plug it in and it says you have a, uh, I think it's a, error code that pops up right out of the gate says something about electrical systems you gotta go in and switch it to the right voltage so found that out the hard way we flipped it over though we'll flip this thing on so new 355 got the new the bigger screen um, it's gonna fire up here and gives us our Miller logo tells us our input voltage and then we jump right into the screen uh, for MIG welding I had the uh, power lead hooked up already uh, but no, the machine is actually pretty nice. It's, you know, one downside, we, it's kind of heavy though. So be careful when you go to pick it. Now, this is, the 355 is all new. And it's an inverter technology. Uh, they're doing away from, going away from transformer technology because inverter technology is tried and true now. Um, so this unit replaces the 350P because uh, this has pulse capability. So the 350P you can no longer get and the replacement is this 355. Um, but let's dive in here and we'll, we'll show the setup on the inside. So I know I had the door open already for your voltage selection switch. But pretty nice. We've got a five, four drive roll system, two tensioners here. Uh, man, real nice. I mean, if you're familiar with some of the industrial equipment that Miller has, like the old 350P or a 22A or 24 or 20 series wire feeders, they all they got some four roll drive roll systems. Uh, or the 70 series drive rolls. I mean, beautiful. Those are nice. Uh, they work great. Usually no problems. This thing came with drive rolls in it. Uh, 35, 45 drive rolls. We got our spool here. We can fit a 33 or 44 pound spool of wire in that unit. Um, very nice. It comes, you can get an easy latch cart with it. Uh, that, and I know in a previous videos for the 255, the easy latch cart, we put one together and we had our 255 on the easy latch cart. Nice carts. You can get dual cylinder carts. You can get single cylinder carts with them. Pretty cool though. Um, I'll shut that door here. We'll go around the front of the machine here. So this machine, like I said, auto set and pulse capability. Uh, we just got our voltage adjustment, inches per minute, wire feed speed. So we can go into setup. We can choose our gas type, wire type, what are our weighing gas type, wire diameter, inductance, free flow, post flow, run in mode fast tack which is uh, gives you a certain time on attack if you're just tacking or fab tacking together uh, crater mode gives you a crater so crater fill at the end of your weld trigger hold function you can turn it on or off that 350p did not have that um, so this is new to this machine and then you got spot timer as well so pretty pretty nice we'll go back home here um, we've got programs so on this thing, we got programs one through four, so we can pick our favorite settings. If we like it, just push and hold the button and it automatically programs it. So program one, if we come back, it'll be that particular program. Go into that P chart here. So material thickness, we can tell it what material thickness we're doing and that kind of comes in with the auto set system. So we can choose, and this gives us our predetermined um, welding parameters and this thing will weld up to half inch so if we chose half inch um, we'll do that and then we'll choose 045 wire and 75 to oh well you know what let's just try let's try 90 10 here we'll hit load load and it's going to give us our rundown now this is going into the p chart it's just going to give us a recommended setting with 045 90 10 gas and that's what we're saying we're welding on half inch steel pretty cool um we got our jog feature which is going to jog the wire right through them so if we're going to put a new spool in we're going to jog it and it won't flow gas and we got arc control so that's our inductance setting 
Um, and that really comes into play if you're, if you're flip-flopping between, say, 14 gauge and you're going to 3 8 material. Uh, lower inductance on 14 gauge, higher inductance on the thicker material. We'll go back, um, go back to setup here and just run through that. Let's see here, we'll go to home. So we had it set up for that. Now, this machine here, the 355, comes with a Bernard gun, which we got set out right here. Um, the Bernard, it's a 300 amp series, so you're gonna be familiar with it as far as uh, the Q gun style, but this thing has the AccuLock consumables with the quick crisp twist tips in there, so the single tip, one thing, and that goes on pretty quick. Has a front load liner, so you easy access to change that out. Um, pretty nice set, these guns are really nice. I, I like the Q gun myself. Um, you can put on a D-1 Bernard series um, for the Q gun stuff, so you can put on, or the center fire cart uh, consumables. So you put a D-1, with a you know 5814C and then you can run a T-035 in there and go to the center fire consumables as well if you like that better but it comes with a new AccuLock stuff. Uh, I love the Bernard guns, one of my favorite there. And then also in one of the packages, uh, the XR Luma Pro, this is a 15 foot series but you can get a package that comes with this machine and uh, very nice, uh, pretty nice gun. It's, it's light and it's gonna run the uh, <clears throat> Aluma Pro series consumables uh, with the diffusers and obviously the nozzles for the Aluma Pro. Uh, but you know, the, the nice thing about this is so we go and say we, we buy the package with uh, this gun and we want to go in here and plug that in. This machine is going to automatically recognize that, hey, I just threw the push pull gun on that. So it throws you right over to the push pull MIG. Pretty awesome. Um, that's what I love about this machine. Now you could, you do gotta change the gun. You can't keep them both hooked up at the same time because this one's gonna plug in inside to the trigger wire. But um, as soon as you plug it in and go, it recognizes it. It's pretty cool. So to touch on the different packages that you can get, uh, you can get machine only and one package you can get Machine, machine with cart, I'm sorry, in, in the machine only you get the MIG gun, but then you can get the machine with cart and MIG gun, or the third package is the machine with cart, push pull gun, and the regular MIG gun. So there's three different packages for this unit. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty much plug and play. You just gotta put a plug on it, and it's gonna come with the cart. You gotta put the easy cart together, or the easy latch cart together, but man, they're nice uh, units. They're smaller than the 350P, definitely lighter than the 350P. Um, but still pretty heavy. So to touch on the pulse side of things too, it does have auto set. Uh, so those of you guys are familiar with the 255 and the auto set, when we press auto set, it's gonna give us recommended parameters, right? We can go outside the target, but we just tell it material and gas, so wire eighth inch material on 9010. And then it also has pulse. So if you guys are familiar with the 350P, the 350P had pulse as well. Um, but to get into that pulse menu, this is just so much easier because there's a button for it right now. Because on 350P, you had to toggle through setup to get to the pulse setup. Um, nothing wrong with the 350P, great machine, I, but this, they made it easier. So you can just click pulse and automatically we're in the pulse setup. Um, pretty awesome. I like the screen, it's big and we can read it, you can see everything. And then if you don't want a pulse, just shut it off. See, in the 350P, you had to go back in the setup, toggle through that screen. Pick all of what everything you're running and choose pulse on that. Nothing bad about it. I'm just saying this one's a whole lot easier to do. And then if you don't like auto set. So this is made for, I guess, from beginner to expert, right? Because the expert can walk up and figure out, yeah, I just adjust my voltage and my wire feed. And the beginner, if they don't know too much about the welding world, they can hit auto set, choose a material thickness, tell it what gas to run, what wire size, and it's gonna give them a ballpark range of what to run. So it's, it's the best of both worlds. So if you're in a fab shop and you're used to running 350Ps, this one, now you've got, you got a bunch of new hires in there, not quite as familiar with the welding world, you could throw them on a 355, right? And they could just hit auto set and figure out, okay, well, that's gonna run pretty good. It's gonna give me a good parameter in there. Um, and then you could also give it to the expert guy and he's just gonna turn all that off and run whatever he wants to run on manual mode. So pretty nice machine. Um, all in all, great, great units. They've been very popular in the market. 
Um, and then since the 350P is no longer available, they're becoming even more popular because of that. Um, but if you got any questions, comments, anything, please link them below. We'll do our best to uh, answer everything. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.